but uh, want to be very you know open and, and clear about the fact that when we're talking about revenue neutral this is what it means um, we are pushing for an expansion of the tax base so that less burden is on the shoulders of property owners in all three classes whether it's residential commercial or ag um, shifting uh, and I said shifting that responsibility, some of that responsibility to others to help pay for uh, the state's priorities as uh, adopted by the legislature, the governor, and the local entities as well. Now, we're still going to push, like I said, for more fiscal responsibility, but uh, those are things that uh, uh, we want to make sure that you understand that revenue neutral means that we are against the any increase in the aggregate amount of tax revenues collected in the state. But we are for balancing who pays for that. And right now, uh, the lion's share of it, uh, you know, is our constituency uh, of uh, ag producers and other property owners. Uh, Property owners pay property taxes, income tax, sales tax. Uh, they're paying across the board there. Uh, and we've said many times in, in previous discussions that uh, when you look at just the three main resources, revenue sources in the state, uh, property taxes, income tax, and sales tax, property owners pay 48%. Income tax pays uh, 33%, which agriculture pays a, a fair share of that as well. And then sales tax, and once again, uh, from the consumer perspective, uh, those individuals I already mentioned are paying those too. So uh, those are some of the things going on. Another thing that came out with the Economic Forecasting Board on Monday is that uh, they had a discussion about where the ag economy is headed. And most of them uh, on the board a tribute, uh, and there's been many many articles about it, and you know one of them's that that last article mentioned on this slide. But the downturn in the state's revenue is directly a result of the downturn in the ag economy. And uh, projections were uh, the legislature has been made aware of this, but they're projecting a 25 percent reduction in in farm income this year, 19 percent next year and 13% uh, reduction in 2019. Um, we know these things are cyclical, but also all of that adds to the ever-increasing burden on property owners. And we're seeing more and more people in Lincoln and Omaha and other urban areas become more frustrated with their property taxes as well. So it's becoming something of, of a statewide concern and uh, that's the reason that there are several of these coalitions coming together uh, and I said before some of the, you know some of those uh, farm bureaus are partner in um, and others you know they're happening out there and, and uh, uh, you know we need to, to bring I'm not going to say bring all of those groups together but we need to bring everybody together to find a common solution in this sort of thing. 